What's going on everybody? Dots Gaming here and today I'm bringing you guys the next video in my ESO PvP beginner guide series and this is going to cover roll dodging versus blocking. I decided to make a full video on this topic simply because I've been asked about it quite a lot in my stream and when I was originally making some of my videos discussing the state of PvP in the game and people were talking about in the comments things that they were struggling with, one thing that was consistently brought up is Dots. I've always struggled with figuring out when to block and when to dodge and you know any tips on that would be super helpful and so i figured we would do a bit of a shorter video today compared to my previous ones just discussing some of my thoughts on roll dodging versus blocking when you're going to want to do certain one of those things and then i'm also going to show you guys a clip from my stamina templar that i've broken down in this series before but i'm going to break down again because i feel like it's a really good build to showcase blocking versus dodge rolling since it is a more dodge roll heavy build and so you can see when i make the choices between deciding to block and deciding to dodge so we can go through those together but i do just want to discuss some of the basics about when to roll and when to block before we do get into the clip so starting with when to roll roll dodge is mainly going to you know be used when you need to dodge all of your incoming damage but don't need to cast more than one ability because the thing is that you are able to dodge cancel abilities so if you press an ability and then dodge roll you can basically cancel the entire animation of the ability and also get the dodge roll but obviously because you're mid dodge roll and you can't cast abilities you can only get one skill so in certain situations where maybe you need to cast more frequently might not be the play to roll dodge there also roll dodging is to be really good if you're wearing light or medium armor because you get bonuses to your dodge roll cost reduction you never want to dodge roll really all that much if you're wearing five pieces of heavy due to the fact that it increases your dodge cost a lot and if you do decide to dodge you need to make sure that you very seldomly do so it's part of the reason why for magicka builds a 331 is really popular because the three heavy and the three light will offset each other in terms of dodge cost and your dodge Dodge cost will end up just being the normal cost and then if anything you'll get some small reductions from the medium armor passives now another good thing about dodge rolling is that it allows you to stay mobile while mitigating damage obviously when you hold block your character is slowed down by quite a bit but if you're dodge rolling you're still moving at you know a quick speed so it allows you to remain mobile while you mitigate that damage also dodging is good if an attack can't be blocked you know certain hard-hitting single target abilities are going to be really good to dodge you can completely you know have that attack miss you taking on of the damage um so you know in situations where you might not want to block something and still to receive that damage dodge rolling is a good thing to do also dodge rolling is going to be very advantageous if you're doing like a like a more squishy build or if you are wearing pieces of well fitted which are obviously going to reduce the cost of dodge roll and i'm not saying in these squishier builds like not to block but i do think dodge roll is overall going to have priority because if your build is squishier you know you can't afford to take you want to take as minimal damage as possible and dodge rolling will basically mitigate all damage since you do get an iframe now you do though when you are dodging want to be careful with dodging several times in a row as each dodge roll in a row will have its cost increased so if you see green swirls at your feet it means that your next dodge cost is increased so typically as a rule of thumb i try not to dodge roll more than two times during that window as the cost can start to get pretty hefty after that i'll usually maybe swap to some blocking if i still need i you know still feel i need some damage mitigation and then once my cost is back down to normal go back to dodge rolling and if you are finding yourself like well dots i need to dodge roll so much like uh, what do you mean I'll only dodge roll two maybe three times like i have to dodge roll five times or i'm going to take so much damage well in that case probably something wrong with your build and you probably need to fix up other areas of your build if you feel like you need to dodge roll that much so that is definitely Definitely something to keep in, uh, keep into in mind so you can also check out my building video which is video number two in this series if you are feeling like your build is so squishy that you can't survive if you don't dodge now something to keep in mind though when dodge rolling is that you cannot bar swap mid roll so just something to keep in mind if you do need to bar swap you will not be able to do it during a dodge roll now moving into the next part when to block so blocking is going to be best if you need to cast multiple times but want to slow incoming damage so for example you've seen i'm sure if you guys have watched this series at all you've seen in my mag dk clips how often i'm sitting there holding block and pressing coagulating blood just because you know i simply need to cast a ton and still mitigate that damage incoming crowd control but if i was to dodge roll i'd only get one coag off and i wouldn't be getting enough healing it's just blocking is good for when you need to cast frequently as well as mitigate that damage 
Now another time that you're going to want to block is if you're wearing mainly heavy or medium armor since heavy is going to increase how much you can block and medium is going to reduce that cost. You're not going to really want to block all that much if you're in five light just simply because your block cost is going to be increased by the amount of armor that you're wearing. Again, it's part of why 331 for mag is really, really popular. It's that, you know, although the block is going to cost more, a little bit more via your, um, light armor passives you're going to be able to still block more with the heavy and then the one piece of medium is going to offset one of those light pieces so you're really only getting an increase from you know two and then you also can you know make up for that with a couple of sturdy if you are looking to block a lot but at that point with a 331 your block cost is only you know it's a very increased by a tiny amount so it's really not that much to worry about again it's why that armor combo is so popular now another time you're going to want to look into blocking is if you were using an ice staff and or sword and board with all those block cost reductions uh the increase to damage you can block and the other bonuses that do come from it but do not be afraid to block with other weapons it's one of the biggest mistakes that i see people make is that if they're not using an ice staff or a sword and shield they just straight up don't block but you can block with those other weapons i block on my resto staff all the time due to the one resto passive that gives me magicka back sometimes i going into my next point i block cast on my dual wield bar on my magicka dragon knight because you know again if i have the stamina to spare it's still worth blocking in those really intense situations because you can not only block a little bit of incoming damage you can block crowd controls and it's just a good way to give yourself a little bit of extra defense while you are you know going through your animation cancel so you do your light attack your skill and then you do a little bit of a block at the end and you can get some some benefits i, I don't really block cast you know everything all the time but in certain moments it's really really useful and it can be very helpful to like i said block a little bit of incoming damage as well as cc but keep in mind it will slow you down uh, for a very short period of time now also blocking is going to be good obviously if an attack can't be dodged such as a meteor you know the mage's guild meteor if that's coming down on you, you can't dodge roll that so you're going to want to hold block and block that um, another good time to block is that if you're a tankier build and or you're wearing sturdy simply because you know you're going to have more more heft to your character and so even if you are blocking you're still going to be taking some damage but you know you're a bit on the tankier side so that damage is going to be way lower than if you were on a squishier build and again just like my previous point to dodge i'm not saying don't dodge you know in certain situations dodge roll is going to be good and necessary get out of certain things very quickly and dodge certain abilities but block i think will still have a bit of a priority now do keep in mind again speaking about bar swap do not bar swap mid block because the block will fall off during that bar swap so that is just something to keep in mind now guys with some of our discussion about blocking and dodge rolling out of the way i want to get into the clip today and go and discuss you know why i'm blocking and why i'm dodge rolling in certain moments now this is my stamplar build stamplar is definitely a bit of a squishier class as patch and so because of that i'm going to be looking to more heavily prioritize that dodge roll over my block this also is a medium armor build wearing a ton of sturdy and so because of that my block or my, excuse me my dodge cost is cheap i think i just said sturdy I'm wearing a bunch of well-fitted <laughs> in a medium armor build. And so my dodge roll is definitely on the cheaper side. And thankfully, because I am wearing all those medium pieces, I actually do get some block cost reduction from the medium armor passive. So as we can see, I dodge roll once to get away from the people. I then kite away to go and heal myself back up. You don't just want to stay in those fights and just continue taking damage. So I get ganked, dodge roll after the gank. I want to block, you know, prevent some of that incoming damage from coming in. So I move away. These guys come up. If you guys noticed, I waited until those green swirls went away before i dodged again okay so boom we get ganked we dodge roll afterwards because you don't want to take any unnecessary damage that may be coming from that gank we kite up the stairs gain some distance okay we notice the green swirls at my feet are gone so block call our dodge cost is going to be back to normal so we dodge again go back into the fight Attack and attack and attacking. Do the crescent and see. Now, dodge back to normal. I do unfortunately eat the meteor, but we dodge because, again, we are taking quite a bit of damage. I also do make sure to use my hots before I dodge roll as well, just so that the hot is healing me while I have that iframe and I'm not taking any damage. So we dodge we go down the stairs i use the purge and then we go to two back again really focusing on that los not just eating a ton of damage here so we see these guys come into us i go into my power of the light go into my stun i start to try to jab i get streaked on now again i just got cc'd i don't want to take a ton of damage following up the cc so we go into a dodge roll i swapped my back bar after the dodge roll 
use race against time to gain some distance and i heal myself and again i'm always kiting i'm always kiting. you don't just want to stay necessarily in the fray and have to fucking dodge 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 you want to create some distance give yourself some los and it also again gives time for that dodge cost to go back low again now we can see here what happens i get ganked immediately i see i get chunked on my health bar so what do i do i dodge roll simply because again this is a dodge heavy build i am a bit on the squishier side and i don't know how much damage this guy's gonna rip out so i want to completely mitigate all of it you know so then we go we dodge we swap to our to our, our sword and board bar i heal and i start to block cast my abilities okay do you notice i'm not dodging here i've already dodged i'm on dodge cost increase i'm on my sword and board bar so we swap to blocking okay i block cast my vigor if you guys notice i block cast the vigor so i can mitigate damage while i vigor i then use race against time i get los now i switch to a dodge roll again i'm off of dodge roll uh increase cooldown so we can basically swap back to that dodge all of these abilities that are coming into us i purge myself i heal myself back up race against time back up now i block I, blo I like to block here on these little like this little uh end thing because it allows you to not especially because my build's so fast it allows you to not like fly off the tower you can like go slow and drop down to the second floor very easily then you just do the simple roll and then you go to the back so again i'm rolling i refresh my rally purge vigor this guy comes into us and now we get to go do a little bit of an offensive pump on this guy as we can see so we deal damage deal damage deal damage that pops and boom so we take that guy we're now go to the middle again reset all my buffs here i take care of that guy that's elaine uh dealt most of the damage to but i just wanted to clean him up again okay, there we go we reset all of our buffs back here okay we're just constantly checking the buffs i just dodged because i didn't know if somebody was behind me but the dodge roll was largely unnecessary refresh my rally coming to these three guys in the front i get cc'd I crescent this guy after the burst. Again, I have a lot of people attacking me, right? I dodge roll. I frame all that damage. Swap after the dodge roll, okay? Race against time to get distance. This is now my second dodge roll, okay? I will not, probably not dodge roll a third time after this. We dodge roll again, because again, taking a lot of damage from these guys. We then refresh elude, refresh vigor, purge. Notice the, the psychic shield uh, came on me, so I swapped to blocking. I even block casted those abilities just to make sure if somebody was coming up the stairs, I'm mitigating that damage and preventing myself from being CC'd. Okay? Swap back to the front bar. Dodge roll. I believe dodge roll cost increase is off by this point. It is. You can see it at my feet. I'm pretty good. It literally timed it perfectly as, as I dodge rolled. Like... It literally just wore off. So I got to dodge here because I saw all these people coming up the stairs. And again, I wanted to stay mobile. I was a little too mobile in this case. Um, so again, these guys come up the stairs. I see how many people there are. And so I go, I need to get the fuck away from here. I know I want to go back down to two back. So I dodge roll. I should have blocked here to slow my character down, but I just yeeted myself off the edge instead. So we heal afterwards, race against time. I dodge cast the rally. So that's a really important play here because I basically am saying I have one skill that I want to cast, but I want to stay mobile. I don't want to take damage and I don't want to be CC'd. So by simply dodge casting that ability, it allows me to do that, okay? And so then again, I swap back to my back bar. We go, we rat, we purge, we do our armor buff. My game gets alt tab on accident i get cc'd i dodge roll afterwards okay and now again we're just kiting away using that rat kiting away purging refresh the rally always keeping those buffs up and i'm basically now evaluating the situation picking out my targets we go to the front try to stun go to the big crescent hit this guy for the big crescent so i want to focus him instead i get stunned after the stun what do we do we dodge roll because again people usually go for the burst after their cc so it's always a really safe time to dodge roll afterwards okay we switch we rat we armor buff, we vigor, we pottle this guy, and then we deal damage and he dies. Now all these guys are in us now. A lot of people in us, a lot of AoEs on the ground. So I'm dodge rolling to try to get out of them, mitigate damage while escaping those AoEs. Okay, so I basically go to my back bar afterwards. Look, I'm block casting abilities. Block casting my abilities here. All right, this is a really, really good example. So after we jab these guys, we dodge to get away. I am block casting a skills here uh this dodge roll here was very unnecessary but you know we did <laughs> you know it's an example of right here right i'm dodge casting my abilities there's absolutely no need to dodge roll i think i did that just to try to create some distance and use this little corner of the thing to kind of uh loss a little bit um but that dodge was was largely unnecessary but again my stamina was really high so you know i made a judgment call and, and decided to dodge roll just to keep myself safe so again puddle on this guy throw that 
do this, back up, get the Essence Thief as we're parsing on this guy. He pops, as you can see by that. Alliance points down there, so we do get that kill. Keep going in on this guy, this next dude, deal big damage. So again, I see a lot of people coming up. And I always am trying to dodge roll a little bit preemptively, right? I feel like, okay, these guys might attack me. I don't want to take a lot of damage. So you see all these guys start to come through on his lane. So I just dodge roll, right? Dodge roll. Just, just to be safe, you know? These guys are all coming out. I don't want to get take a lot of damage. So I just dodge roll just to be safe here, okay? We get stunned. So we don't, they're focused on Zelane. So I don't even dodge roll after that stun. I don't block really because they're not focused on me. So I'm just trying to deal as much damage as I can, help out in whatever capacity I can. Um, but then once that guy jumps down, here's just what I do. So I look at my back bar and I notice my armor buff is down. So God forbid someone hits me, I'm going to get chunked. So I swap, then I dodge. I dodge to try to get back into the middle here to get LOS so that I can safely reset my buffs. Because if I get stunned here, I'm going to get banged. So I dodge roll, get into LOS, armor buff, uh, purge, ra or I didn't purge, I looted. I rat in and look, ganker right here, gear it up, okay? So it's a good thing that I, I pulled off. So again, we start pressuring the gankers. I'm trying to, you know, move on, on this guy. He keeps snaking in between the totem here so I can see seed. We dodge roll after the stun, okay? And then we basically move away from those guys. I'm not making any progress. And I want to move back towards my teammates because Andy just got back. So again, we just go into our offense. I'm taking a look. I dodge roll out of the root. I'm rooted. Obviously, that's another time you want to dodge roll. If you're rooted, get out of it. You could also use a root and snare immunity skill, such as race against time. But dodge roll is also a good way to get out of a root. Uh, fossilized talons, uh, you know, the necro skill I got stuck in, etc. So you dodge roll out of that. Swap to my back bar, refresh my buffs, okay? Refresh rally. Now, good. We're, we're buffed up. We're good to go. We pottle that guy. I get CC'd. Uh, again, dodge roll after the CC. Don't want to get bursted, okay? So we go onto this guy that we're parsing on. Uh, we just, you know, get basically bouncing between targets, trying to choose people to attack. Now, here's a great, here's a great play. I commented on this, I believe, in the survival video. So after we attack this guy, right? Boom, 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 boom. I see the runes at my feet. You see those runes at my feet? Means I'm about to get meteored. So dodge roll will not work here. So I swap to my SMB and I block. See the shield on me? I swap to my SMB and I block just in time, okay? So then afterwards though, my health is really, really low, right? I take a lot of damage from that meteor. Um, I don't know if I actually got the block off in time. It's hard to tell with all the spell effects, but um, I did, the thought was there. <laughs> So I did try to block, um, but afterwards, right? I dodge cancel my vigor. Why do I dodge cancel my vigor? I'm at 39% health. I'm low. I don't want to take damage. My burst heals on my front bar. I can't sit. I can't sit there and block and cast vigor six times and be healed up. If that was a burst heal, yeah, I'd block cast that burst heal a bunch of times, right? That's actually another great point to mention. If I blocking is going to be super helpful, like the hot and then a couple of burst heals, but I just have a hot on that back bar. So sitting there blocking, casting a hot over and over again is going to accomplish nothing. So instead, I dodge cancel the hot. Also gets me to LOS. We bar swap into the rally. Okay. Then we purge, all right? So that's a, something else to consider. The type of heals that you're looking to cast and the abilities you're looking to cast is also going to vary if you want to block or dodge. Those burst heals are going to be really good to block cast, or if it's something like rally, you can want to dodge cast. Coag is something that's good to block cast because it's repeatable, right? Rally is a once thing, so again, good to dodge cast that. Hot's good to uh, dodge cast as well. You know, you can potentially, if you have like, you know, Magic of Dragonite, right? Co uh, Coag and uh, Rapid Regen, you can use those in succession while blocking. But just again, you can see it's as the situation demands, you got to make that judgment call for yourself. Okay. And so then we, again, we go into these guys, Pottle, Stun, where we say we want to switch target to this guy. So I start jabbing on him, right? Okay, we kill him, go to this guy. I dodge roll out of the AoE just because, again, I want to move. And avoid damage because if I sit in the caltrops, I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna lose, you know, 6k armor. So I get out of that, purge off the effects. I just, you know, full buff reset here. Okay, then we go back onto offense, walk back into the caltrops because I want to chase this guy. So we stun him, jabby 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 ruski, and then we follow this guy down. My rally needs to be refreshed. I forget to. There we go. We got the rally refresh. Good. Go into the rat. We're chasing these guys down. Again, I'm taking a lot of heat want to stay mobile so i dodge roll to get back into safety now look i block as i move in here okay i block this damage i'm on my smb bar i just dodge rolled you know there's no reason to dodge roll again so i just switch to a block instead but then i notice that these guys start to look at me so i try to dodge roll their abilities 
Then we swap cancel the vigor. We go into the power of the light. Okay, we're trying to jab. Again, again, a lot of people coming up. So I just dodge roll to be able to move here. I also want to impress upon you guys here. The reason, part of the reason I also chose the block here is because, again, I'm on dodge cast increase. I'm being sniped from afar. This guy's also got a bow. And so... I can block here because I don't have that much distance I need to move to get to loss, right? So I can just block and get to loss. I want to chew up that Sigic shield as well because that's free damage shield, okay? Then we swap back to the front bar. I tried to, I think, swap... Uh I don't know if I was trying to dodge cancel my rally or if I was just trying to dodge that guy's skills. But regardless, we go to the back bar. We swap cancel on the vigor. We go into this guy again. I can dodge roll at uh, cheapest cost now. So we dodge roll back up the stairs. Again, just want to mitigate damage, create a little bit of distance, kind of evaluate my situation here. I was going to try to put a Ballista down. I don't think that ends up happening. Uh, so... Again, just refreshing all my buffs. We go, we kill the guard real quick. We got this guy as a tank trying to burn the siege. So we go and we try to burn him down. We just chase, go out with the crescent, big crescent, big damage, chopping these guys up, okay? So we follow this guy, start dealing damage. This is, I'm pretty sure we just clean up the fight pretty much after this. Uh, so we pop that guy. And then we have one dude left. And then we also have the guards as well. So murder this guy and then i think we actually end up killing one last guy in the guards but this is a really i think this clip from my stamplar i feel like was a really good showcase of deciding when to block versus dodge roll because this guy's build is a fundamentally dodge roll heavy build and so i think it does a really good job at showing the thought process between when do you want to block and when do you want to dodge? And so hopefully with the explanation at the beginning of the video, plus with this clip analysis, hopefully you guys are able to better understand when to dodge roll and block and why you want to do those in those situations. Now, I will say that a lot of the abilities that you should know, like do I need to dodge or block here? It's really going to come with uh, practice and kind of, again, playing and understanding your opponent's abilities. So just keep working on it and just keep practicing it. And especially like I know blocking for, for a lot of people can definitely be something that takes time to learn. Just keep working on it it really if you follow the tips in this video keep some of the things i've mentioned in the back of your head you will learn it over time it's just going to be it's like anything else with pvp you got to practice it you got to feel it out and in time you will learn from your limit testing oh man i should have blocked that okay maybe i should have dodged here and again reviewing your clips will also help you because it could be like well you know i didn't block here and i should have i could have dodged you know to keep you know dodge cancel the skill and got a heal but i didn't so i died i dodged too many times within the window and so my cost got too big you know and so as you can keep the things that i mentioned in this video in mind you can break down your own clips and see the areas that you do need to improve on this topic but guys i really do hope that you did learn something from this video and i hope you did enjoy it and if you did i would really appreciate it if you smacked a like on it if you have any questions you can feel free to leave them below and guys for more of this series as well as other mmorpg content please hit that sub button as well as the bell to keep those notifications on so thank you all so much for stopping by today i do very much appreciate it as always i'm dots gaming and i'll see you all in the next video